Well, good evening. I'm Rick Dancer, and welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer, coming to you live from Livingston, Montana, <laughs> where homelessness is a way of life, but not on the streets. It's just people like me and my wife living in Airbnbs. <laughs> but we're going to be moving into a new Airbnb this Friday, Airbnb, and we'll be bringing you live reports from that next week. Hopefully, the internet's going to work. Otherwise, I'm going to be at the tavern. And that could be dangerous. Rick Dancer with Kim Stark, him in a tavern and her on her mom's porch. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so Kim is with us tonight. We also have a really charming woman named Ying Ying Hung. And she's our elements person of the night. We're going to talk with her. Have a cool story that I shot here in Livingston, Montana on a local guy who just one day decided he wanted to start painting. And so he started with watercolors you know those little crappy sets you get for a dollar at the drugstore he started with that and one of those brushes and he started painting flies not flies like get in your house but flies like people tie them fishermen make their own flies to catch fish he t he paints those in in huge format you'll see him tonight and he tells his story that's brought to you by elements health clubs of lane county um, where your health is very important to them. Kim's going to have some tips. Oh, she has her question tonight. And you will win 10% off a treatment at New Leaf Hyperbarics Chamber if you are the lucky winner. Somebody's saying something. Now, hold on, because I'm kind of, hello from Idaho, your new home. Well, good for you. I really enjoy life updates. Well, Jason, it's good to talk to you. Jason Sharp is a for former Florentinian. That's somebody who lives in Florence. <laughs> I just made that up, you know. Oh, here, I'll show you a fly that this guy tied. You ready? This is the story coming up a little later. Check this out. Is that amazing? So that's how they trick fish and catch. That's how fly fishermen do that. My son does this. But then when you make those flies, wouldn't that be cool if you had someone who could paint that for you and something big that would be decorating in your house? <sighs> I've got just the guy for you. Um, I'm going to hit the open button. And then we got Bill uh, London. Uh, just so all you guys, if you are uh, the praying kind of people, your thoughts and prayers could be with Bill. His um, He had a death in the family. And so he had to, it's not his father, but he had a death in the family, someone very close to him. And I don't want to say much more because I don't know how much I'm supposed to say. But he won't be here tonight or tomorrow night. And maybe he won't be here Thursday. So I'm going to fill in with just a little bit of news. It's nothing like what Bill does. But... Who puts up with this? That's what I don't understand. Bring the lion out. Bring the, bring the lion. Um, tonight on our show, we're going to have... Hey guys, don't you think it's kind of fun that you get to comment on the news? Yeah, there's a cost. Oh yeah, there's a cost. People come after you. Like, I think that's why this is so much fun is because... We'll see you at five. So again, our sponsor is Chris Daniel Family Dentistry, where everyone is welcome. New Leaf Hyperbarics and Wellness Center, where you can get gas with oxygen <laughs> or lit up with lights. Um, and we'll tell you more about that. And he's Matt sponsors our question every every uh, Tuesday on our and Elements Health Clubs of Lane County, three locations: Springfield, Eugene, and West Eugene. So we'll have more or Oakway. Did I say that? So it's Oakway, Springfield, and West Eugene. There. I got them all out. Now, I got a, I got a uh, text from a woman today. And you guys might remember, um, where did I put? Oh, I've got some video. Um, last week, we had this young man, Eric Brazil. He was on our show, and he's missing. And Sunday morning, uh, someone spotted his car or his vehicle on the side of the road near Vida. And Eric is in his 30s. He's around 5 foot 9 inches tall, 170 pounds. Um, and he is still missing. Um, he's having some mental difficulties. Uh, he got really agitated by the war. And um, so that they're not sure what's happened. But they have drones out today. His mom wrote me today and said, Rick, they have drones out. They have dogs out looking for him. The family can't be out there because the dogs will smell him on them. So they just, they're looking for him to see if they can find him if he wandered away from his car or something like that. And then she did ask me if, if I would ask you if people would just pray for him um, because they're really nervous and very, very scared. And so anyway, that's kind of a little update. Another thing I noticed in perusing some of the local websites, 
I think this is cool. Kim, Winco opened. The new Winco. Oh, wait, let's just get her in here. I know. I was, I was just going to tell you that um, that opened because it's right next to my mom. Yeah. Um, and that, yeah, and yeah. see, now, and what's cool about that is in here in Bozeman, our Winco and Costco are right next to each other, too. So it's super handy because yeah. you can just go in there and that's where we shop. We, we drive from Livingston to Bozeman. We get it. Now we do some local shopping too, but we go there to get all of our big stuff. So I yes, was, I saw that online. And was, there. I remember that. And this has been in the works for like two years at least. Yeah. Oh, God, you think Shopco went belly up and then we were all I know. And Kathy and I were just like going, Oh my God. I told her that she goes, Oh, now they open up. Now they open. Now that you're gone. Well, you know what? My question is what are the guys going to do that they, they meet up for coffee in the parking lot? Their, their well, parking lots. Well, can you imagine how that, that intersection oh, already, yeah. like that's where hell, if, mm -hmm. if, if there's a center of hell in Eugene, it would be right <laughs> there at the point, intersection. It's of, not going to get better now. I know I, I it opened today and I, there was a little bit of traffic, but it's hard to tell already, but the parking lot was full. So, okay. I've gotten other news too. You want to buy a lighthouse, Kim? Um, the Tillamook head lighthouse off of Seaside it's yeah. a lighthouse that used to be actually manned by a friend of mine who's now passed away. He's an expert on lighthouses named Jim Gibbs. He lived there. They called it Terrible Tilly because you had to row a boat out to that thing. And you would, um, it, it was crazy what you had. To, they said people almost went crazy out there because you had to stay out there for three oh. to four months mm -hmm. at a time. And well, he lived it, out there? Yeah, he lived out there. He was just in the service and he had to, he manned that booth, just him by himself. Ooh. And funny story, so. Um, anyway, it's for sale for $6.5 million. Some company bought it um, in the 80s and they tried to make it into a mausoleum. So there's like oh, maybe yeah. 20 dead people out there, like ashes of people um, in there. But you oh. can get, I guess you could get, I don't know, you probably don't want to just throw them in the ocean if you buy it. That's Not kind of really that appealing. Yeah, right? that would be kind of rude. Oh, look, you have to buy this thing for $6.5 million and you have a family. Yeah. You have to talk so. to them. So here's all your relatives. Oh yeah, here's Dead Martha and you know Aunt Melba oh, and all these people in there. But Jim you're not used really to, selling this. No, when Jim lived on that, um, he said that they had to go to the bathroom. I know this is more information than people need, but this is a story you can take to your party tonight or next on Saturday. Go, you know what Rick Dancer told me? This is how you went potty on the til terrible Tilly lighthouse off Tilly McBeth. <laughs> there was a huge hole that went from the top through the rock all the way down to the ocean. And he said, you'd have to sit on that, do your thing. And then that's, and it just went down into the ocean. But he said, the worst thing is when you had to go to the bathroom, you did not sit around and read a paper because there was wind <laughs> coming up that tunnel. He says, so you oh. went and you jumped on that thing. You did your thing and you got off of it. Like, you know, but and then the wind dried you off. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> or oh blew God. it back up at you. <laughs> <laughs> Our poor guest tonight. She's going, what did I just get? Myself? Is going, what kind of show is this? You know? <laughs> and then I wanted to bring one other thing up tonight is tomorrow night, big night here. Here, um, on our show, Betsy Johnson. Oh yeah, uh, the fiery independent. Uh, well, she's not even independent. She's a non-affiliated. She was a Democrat. She served in the Senate for decades, and she's running for governor. And it's going to throw a really interesting twist in everything. She's not going to be in the primary because she can't. Oh. She's not a Democrat or Republican. In Oregon, they have this closed primary where, for some reason, all of us pay for it but only people who are Democrats or Republicans can participate. Right. <clears throat> that would be called taxation without <laughs> representation. But don't let me get on a bandwagon. That would just be terrible, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> that actually has a name, but we won't get <laughs> But Betsy's going to be here tomorrow night, and we're going to start off right with Betsy, and she's going to talk to us about wanting to be governor and actually what she wants to lead Oregon. Uh, governors, oh, here's, um, well, there's Tammy Brazil. Tammy, we're so sorry that Eric is missing and i just pray to god that you find him um and he's just wandered off and 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 doing something you know how we all have to have a little time apart we all have mental days and and i'm sorry that you guys are going through this because that's really tragic but thank you for keeping us in contact um and then here's i had my first appointment with chris Daniel next week oh yeah thanks for the referral oh diana you're gonna love dr bradlin he's awesome and all of his staff and everybody we've got another that's what we need more traffic <laughs> by costco <laughs> yeah, why are the costcos and winco's always neighbors oh boy oh my gosh that's that is a terrible thing so um speaking of dr bratlin 
he's always, he's so busy because he's taken a stand um, yeah. and, and really standing up for what he believes in. And even people I think that don't like what he believes in still like right. the fact that he's standing up, but the he's, fact that he speaks his mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's super busy and he needs staff. This is Dr. Michael Bradlin from Chris Dental. Thanks to patients like you, my dental practice is thriving. As a result, we are in need of a couple more team members. If you or someone you know is either a dental assistant or has front desk experience, please come by my office and we can talk. Candidates must be hardworking and have excellent customer service. Patient care is absolutely our number one priority. And best of all, your vaccination status is your business, not ours. And that's Dr. B. And you know what? If you need a job right now, I, I mean, I wish it was like this when I was out looking for a job back at graduating or anything. I mean, there's just so many jobs right now. Yeah, I just talked to Michael today. He, he's like my one of my best friends, and I called him in because have a little house issues, you know. Um, <laughs> just say, hey, so what do I do? How do I get that realtor going? You know, moving, and he's like, oh, right, right, here's what you do. He's yeah, he'll tell. <laughs> matter of fact, so our other um, doctor. Oh, we should do our we should do our um, question. Oh yeah, you guys, we have our question tonight, and this is our new leaf hyperbarics and yes. wellness center question. And yes. here it is. That's right. It's our question. Our sponsor. Um, and on Tuesdays, we try to do a health related question. So um, this is our question of the night. Now, there's a new study that's suggesting this type of exercise is best for improving sleep. Again, when I give these little um, questions of the day, there are always more than one answer. Right. But this is the one that the recent study suggests is best to do. So it's a type yeah. of exercise that's best for improving your sleep. And so, you guys can throw your guesses out there. You're not allowed to Google it. So I don't if, think they could find if, this one if they Googled it. If any, if, if any of you have small children, now is the time to put their fingers in their ears because Mr. Dancer is going to get a little bit R-rated. But Uh-oh. this wouldn't, my my guess would be this isn't what most men hope that this exercise would be. It's not before. the answer you were looking for, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. And you don't even have to say it. I know where Rick's minded. It is not are that you, one. Are you sure? Because <laughs> okay, I, I, you, I, you're right. You're right. That could be an answer. But honey, um, I can't sleep. We're I can't for. sleep. There's only one thing. Okay, we, we're getting answers here. Yep. Let's see what. Ha- yeah, yoga. That was my guess, Melissa. Um, and it's but Melissa. It's not Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> According to the study, it is not yoga. I agree. Yoga is great. Yoga is great in the morning too. Sit ups. Okay. So I'm going to be picky about this. Um, it has to be exactly what I found for this question. Otherwise, oh, yeah. that's, I already said that. You read your mind, Rick. She did. <laughs> She's after, <laughs> you're not on the same page. I know. Um, I agree. Oh, burpees. Oh it's my. Not burpees. Um, Terry, what is wrong with you? I like these. I like these. Oh, answers. you know why? Because Terry is. She's a Montana. Oh, that's and, why. Yeah. Um, she actually teaches my spin class that Kathy and I go to. Oh, and she's her husband is the fly before. fisherman, the fly painter. You're going to see in a minute. Oh my gosh. But wow. She's half crazy. So of course she would say, so of course she would. Well, and you know what? There are probably, if you find what works for you, do it. That's what I'm saying. But this is but just, there is a right reason. answer. And there so there is a right get, answer for our, for our reason. <laughs> and so if you are in the Eugene Springfield area, you will get a 10% discount on your hyperbaric treatment or a light treatment because Matt's pretty open to both. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're into the, we're going to hit into the elements at uh, the elements of a healthy life. And one of them is, being mentally healthy. And for the man you're about to meet, Lloyd Miller, uh, to be mentally healthy means something that can get your brain to shut down and stop doing this. I I totally understand this. And he found that in painting. And I'm going to start first with our Sarah open to get us into the element segment. And then I'm just going to bring Lloyd right up and go. And then we've got Ying Ying Hung. And then Ying Ying's waiting too. She's a superstar (laughs) coming up a little bit later. So hang in there. Okay, and I'll keep showing Kim your answer. So she can see him, can't you? I can see them, yeah. Yeah, so she'll see him and make sure we get the right person if you get it. But um, so far, I think you're all wrong. But anyway. (laughs) Clubs, you get more than a workout. You get results-driven fitness and nutrition help no matter where you're starting in your health journey. You get luxury club benefits like a heated pool, hot tub, sauna, steam room, and wellness centers. You get academy-level group training classes like HIIT, boxing, TRX, and barbell strength. And your kids get childcare centered around movement with activity and a purpose. You get three convenient locations with one membership. All the amenities of a luxury health club with the membership prices of a neighborhood gem. Elements Health Clubs, we are more than a workout. I didn't learn from anybody. I didn't take any classes. I didn't take any videos. It's all getting all this stuff and then making it all work. I think I probably, if somebody 
that had an art background, they'd probably cringe. At like $1.99 from Mega Mart. But then I said, okay, so how do I do something different? Because I couldn't bring myself to paint another uh, close up of a fish. I just looked at these, and once again, you know, target rich environment flies have so much color, they have so much texture, they each have their own personality. Local artist that I really admire, he came over and looked at it, and I remember he sort of patted me on the shoulder and said, Nice idea, but reality is going to kick in, and it's just, it's nice to have dreams, but you know, it's already being done. It's just, he didn't think any part of it was tangible. You know, how long have you been doing this? I said, not long. If you look at everything, my paintings, like this probably here, I think is my 61st painting that I've ever done. I wanted to do something that nobody else was different. Some people paint flies. Most people paint them smaller, less detail. And even if you did want them to paint this big, if you did it with acrylics, it'd probably be way easier. A lot of margin for error, everything else. But I think this, just for me, it challenges me because... I have to keep thinking every day in each one of my, each one that I'm on, how am I going to do it? It just taxes my... Honestly, I get so lost in this. I put music on and I get so lost in this because, man, part of with me is my brain just does not shut down. Like, it just does not stop. It does not turn off on me. You know, I have this thing of, I, I just want to, I just want to change the world and... I, I can't go out and I can't make I can't make Russia you know sit down or calm down or recognize what they're doing but I'm always looking to build people I split it in half I took six of them and I said I had to convince these people that I met would you be interested in partnering with me and send me your fly I will paint it and then it'll be part of a show you can represent your country there's really nobody that um paints highly detailed flies with watercolor in large format so tell me the, the the fly that you fished with grandpa back in the day and you remember oh it was this you know a soft hack or it was this special kind of you know an olive green woolly bugger and uh that's what i remember fishing and i'd love to say hey give me that fly and i will capture that fly and make it grandiose and you can make that a focal point of your office your man cave your living room something along those lines i think it's using every opportunity to make a difference so i hope somebody hangs something like this and just looks at it and uh can pause and just reflect because if you pause and reflect your brain's thinking of something and it might have been you know getting it for the first time it might have been the fly that it emulates it might be the time we met um I, I don't know. It's it's like an accent piece. It's not the be all end all, but hopefully it's a accent. I'm at peace with everything. I think the other things that everybody might find tumultuous in their lives, I have enough trust and faith that it's not tumultuous. So peace for me, I'm probably living in the most peaceful state I've probably ever been in. I mean. And uh, Joe, the music you heard in there, uh, one of the songs is Joe Woosley, who is a Sweet Home native. Oh, okay. I saw me, that name. Okay. He lets me put his music on stuff. He's a really kind of a big deal and stuff. But the cool thing about Lloyd's work is so, so people that I know that tie flies, if you had one that just turned out just like you loved it, you could get a hold of, or like a gift, you know, like for a present. Oh, yes, that'd be such a great you gift. A fisherman or a fisherwoman in your life. I think right. Fishers, huh? but if you had a fisher in your life and they had, and that was something cool to them, right. you could have Lloyd then make it into this big art piece that can hang on your house. And who's yes. that? A one of a kind thing, you know? Those were gorgeous. I don't even, I'm not a fly fisher person, but those were amazing. I would actually like that in my house. <laughs> so yeah, I know. Weird. Weird. And, and you know what, I, what, I, what? One of the things that cool, you saw that pink one. So yeah. he was telling me, Lloyd was telling me that. So he doesn't make him look like a fly. He makes him look like the fly that was tied. So if uh, they use yeah. a little piece of styrofoam or foam or something, he's you see that in the fly rather than it looking like the actual. So that right. the person flying, tying the fly is trying to make the, the fake fly look like yeah. a real fly. He's trying to make it look like the fake one. 
because right. that's what you created, which I, you know, I love stuff. That is so crazy. Yeah. yeah. And did you, did you meet him? And you, yeah, well, you... Terry's my teacher for spin. And okay. so we're, we're yakking one day and yeah. she, I said, people here are super friendly. And when he says he's in the best state, he most peaceful state he's ever been in, he You're didn't mean my life. Montana, he not, Montana. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so, but, but so she, um, they just invite you to dinner. So we went over to dinner at their house and also we saw these pictures and I started going, what do you do? Uh, so, you know me, it's like, that's a story. So I went over we and, <laughs> and shot the story because that's how life works, you know? And that that's was so great. Doing, so. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. the pictures turned out beautiful too. They showed up really nicely. So, oh, that was so cool. if you guys are looking, I'm going to re-air that on a sh on later on, on Facebook. I'll put it on there. But if you're really looking for them, it's also on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. You can go watch it again and get his information off. Yeah. Now, did he has, he has an Etsy site, Rick? Did I? Or... Yeah. Okay. And Terry, if you want to put that on there, um, Terry, a burpee woman. If you want to just stick it in the comment section, people then could see that and they can write that down too um, because she, you know, helps them out. So, isn't that fun? That is so cool. I love it. Look if at all I could find a, If I could find a house to live in for real, yeah. it, would be, it would be perfect here. <laughs> just that one <laughs> drawback is the house. It, it snowed today. Oh, it did? Yeah. It was, and, wasn't it just 60 there a few days ago? Yeah, it was like, yo, that's how it works here. And then Kim, I was sitting here at my desk, you know, and I looked out the window and there's like nine deer right outside my window. Oh, you know? oh. <laughs> so I, so I did a little video and I took it and I pushed it out the window like this. Yeah. You know, oh dear, look who's here. Oh. And then of course I made the mistake because I'm, you know, I'm not a Montanan yet. I'm not yet, okay, not I'm officially. Still learning. Mm -hmm. And I called, I said, yeah. So I was kind of being funny. I was going, there's a bunch of, you know, girls out here. And I said, wait a minute, when it's deer, I'm not sure how you tell because they're not exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. They may have not have been all girls looking at you. No. Well, mm -hmm. and then somebody goes, well, you tell because they have their antlers. But I said, <laughs> oh, you tell because of their horns. Of course, I was correct that a horn is on a cow <laughs> and an antler is on a deer. So I'm still. Oh, and Kim, another thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just doing a whole show. We're talking about our animals. And I talking about my baby bunnies. We went, down the, we went down the river with Jess, um, Kathy and me. And his right. Girlfriend. Oh, yes. I did see that. And did, did you see the moose? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Amazing. We, and we, of course, it waited till we got past. And then here's this. Everybody's going, the moose, moose. I'm going, where? And they're going, right in the river, dummy. <laughs> so I get my camera out and I shoot it. You that know, would be like, amazing. Was it as big as you would have thought? They're huge. I yeah. mean, and they're, and they're nasty. They're yeah. mean. Like right. me, you don't go up to it and go, hello, Mr. Moose. It's not like Captain Kangaroo. You don't go try to pet it. Okay. Same with, and then I saw a picture on the Montana. There's a site if you want to have fun, go on Man Montana Tude. It's Montana hyphen T U D E. Like, attitude. Okay. And it's all funny stuff. And they had a picture of this dumb idiot out there walking up close to trying to get close to a oh. buffalo. Oh, boy. Buffalo's, buffalo will, will, Will charge you. I mean, yeah, exactly. and it's it's like it's not like a cow, like a uh, you know. I mean, no. this is like a wild animal. It will tromp. Yeah, tromp. Oh my gosh, no, thank you. <laughs> Montana Tude. Okay, we'll have to Montana remember that one. Okay, so Kim, you have a guest, and I'm going to get out of here so you can talk to her. And oh uh, yeah, it's nice. our Elements <laughs> Health Night, as you guys know, and you can yeah. see the little elements we thing. Should. But what we'd like to do is talk to people about kind of just you know keeping healthy lifestyles and stuff. And we've been featuring members of the gym, and this isn't just you don't have to be a member of the gym, of course. But we've been finding um, people who want to talk about kind of what health means to them and fitness and and that kind of thing. And so Ying Ying, she works out at the clubs here, and I think you're mostly at the Oakway or you kind of make your rounds because what did you tell us? It depends on the teacher. Oh yeah. The oh, yeah. teacher is, is important for me. And then the <laughs> class too. Of course, of course. And yeah. you do all yeah. sorts of classes. Yeah. And the, they're very nice. And the people over there is very friendly and nice. And the, yeah. yeah, so I really like and clean, you know, and clean. Now yeah. tell us and what brought you pool. out here. <laughs> and the pool, that's awesome. Now tell us yes. what brought you out here, Yingying, because you um you came out because your husband was from here, is that right? Yes. Yes. I married him and then I come to the US. Yes. Uh -huh. And you had your children here? Oh yeah, Secret Hell. <laughs> uh, peace of Hell. What nineteen eighty. <laughs> yes, before it was all river bend and everything, and then you're so now tell us about the clubs um and just working out in general, what it means for your health and your mind, you know, how does it help you get through the day? Uh I 
like a morning, uh -huh, when I wake up and I feel like, uh, oh, I need to go exercise. I need to do something. I don't want to stay home and, and sitting there. I need to do in class, doing something. And then yes. choose every day, different kind of class. And uh, this, like a couple class in the one day. And I feel like, oh, after then the gym, I feel like, oh, my homework is done today. <laughs> oh, your homework, that. yes. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. I feel like, okay, now I can sit in the couch, watch TV or do something. And I feel like I'm not embarrassed. I said, good. I did the homework. <laughs> yes, good good student. Now, you, you're looking like a student now. I heard, and someone just commented, they think you live at the gym. I know the people at the gym love you. I can imagine you're a fun person when you get in there. Tell me about that. How does it kind of change your outlook on your day? And what's the most important part for you there? You mean, oh, the most the pop, uh, see the people. And well, especially okay. like a pandemic, you know, they've been like uh, uh, close, open, close, open. And then I don't want like a uh, stay home and then get depressing. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Go see the people, say hi, yeah, and do something. And that we are together. We are community. Yes, you're our community. And yeah. also, I know that um, you like to mix it up. You Tell me about some of your favorite classes. What are what are your favorite? Yoga and Zumba. A yoga, Zumba dancing. And yeah. don't you do, you? I think I'm kind of, I think we need to look out because you do another one. You were showing me your arms earlier. Oh, so, the, the, the lifting, lifting <laughs> and then cycling. <laughs> yes, getting those legs going. Yes. Um, yes. She's talking uh -huh. about boxing. Uh, boxing. Kickboxing. Yes. Kickboxing. Kickboxing. Yes. Kickboxing. Yes. That's right. And Are Zuma, you? someone is there and knows you from Zuma on here too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bar Barbara ba uh, Bobber Foth. She says, my, you're, you're her Zumba friend. Oh, you know, Barbara. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zing, are you, are yeah, you we're together when I when the music turn on and I just enjoy the music. I just dancing. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I did the right or wrong. I just keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Ying Ying, are you dangerous at all? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but I mean, she says I, no, but I can see her with those up in the air. Uh huh. <laughs> you look like you're kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it because some, so many people there talk about how fun you are and how much you bring to the gym. So we yeah. love to have people on here that, you know, just shows you guys it is such a community and that's why we want to talk about, and it's a lifestyle for you. Yeah. And you've been here, how long now have you been here? You said? You mean, you mean in U.S.? Been yeah. Here? Been in U.S. since 1980, 42 years. Wow. Okay. U.S. Yes. In Eugene, <laughs> in Eugene, 42 years. And in Eugene, okay, wow. Yes. So she is and a life. In, uh, in the gym, I was signed up in 1998. So be 24 years in the gym. So Yin Yang, do this for me. Like if there's people out there and they're kind of thinking, you know, I just don't want to get up and go do that. What, how, do you, how do you inspire people to make that part of their life? Uh, I just feel like uh, every day you wake up, you need to brush tea, and then I go to the gym just like uh, every day you need to do it. Yes. <laughs> if you not do it, it, I feel like it's something funny. <laughs> so I, you I, get, it becomes part of your life. It's just part yes, of your routine. Yes, part of my life. Yes. And I can stay there two hours, three hours in all morning in there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And when it's a community, it doesn't feel like you're just working out and it's not. Yeah, it's enjoyable. It is part yes, of it. Yes. So, so Elements doesn't charge you by the hour. It's just because <laughs> you'd be broke. <laughs> and that's okay. good thing. Actually, Ying 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 has her own cot in the back yeah, of <laughs> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he totally does. No, I like that. In the morning, you get up. I heard somebody say um, they they their legs go out of bed before they can think about what they're doing. Right before you wake up, just so the legs get out of bed, and then you feel so much better afterwards. So, it's oh yeah, of course. You, you, yes. I used to tell people they say, "How do you get up this early and go work out?" And I said, "You know, how do you wake up?" And I'm going, "Oh, I don't. I wake up when I get in the shower. I go, oh, what, what the hell was that? Yeah, <laughs> you spent two hours doing Every what? Day, seven, wake up. That's right. Hurry, yep. hurry." <laughs> Yep. 
and your day starts. Your day can start once you're there. Well, thank you for joining us and telling us about your experiences there. I love when you brave people will come in and talk to us. So if you guys know anybody who you would nominate, we'll take nominations like Ying Ying. <laughs> Thanks, Ying Ying. See you later. <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a nice evening. You, you too. too. <laughs> she so is cool. awesome. She'd be like, you, you just put her in a class, prop her up. Uh huh. And everybody, like, she probably would walk, walk over to you on the bike and go, get moving. Get yeah. Moving. Oh, I would love to be her to be in my class. Yeah, she could be like the co teacher or something <laughs> like that. She's you so know? Funny. Look, she's, we can see her in the green room. She's punching. I, oh, she's, she's a hoot. Yeah. I love that. And I love the nominations. So keep them coming. They can be so left to talk have, to people. So, did we have a right answer? Oh, we have, I am not seeing a right answer. And I'm afraid, should I give a hint? Yeah, we, give a hint. Let's see. So it's not something that is super, oh gosh, I don't want to give it away. So it just don't think getting your heart rate up that fast, that might give it away. So don't think because um, burpees was a good guess, but that's a little too fast. This one has to do with a different kind type of exercise. Um, so it'd be similar, but not... So, I mean, in a way, it would be similar in a way. There is, it, yeah, it's in the same family. This is the type of, of exercise that's I, most prone to sleep. I didn't know exercise had a family, Kim. It's in the same family. Mm -hmm. You're the expert, so I'm <laughs> Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, you guys, we're sponsored. This is sponsored by New Leaf Hyperbarics and Wellness Center and Matt McCarl over there. They do. Kim, you, you haven't gone in yet. You, when you do I go. I know, I know. I'll, tell, I'll get video when I go in. Yeah, freebie. But you go in there and you do and take a video of it. But he does light treatment uh, for after workout for people that are with autism. Uh, hyperbarics is really good for um, people with autism. COVID, if you had COVID and you're having trouble getting it over. Right. Uh, I remember hearing about that, the oxygen for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Julie, that's dog. a good guess. Walking the dog. You guys are all saying stuff that you, oh man, I don't know. Should I get, should we tell them? Well, I don't know. Cause I well, think what we could do is leave it going. And then people can still answer if they're watching because more people like to watch afterwards. So yeah. you, so far, if all the answers that we've had so far, those, those people are losers. <laughs> I would not have said that. That was Rick. I think you guys all have great answers. You're all losers. So you, you didn't win. And, but you can keep going. Oh, yeah, you can guess again though. So first one Kim sees that's right. Yeah. Then she's a teacher. So she's going to go through and put red marks on all I'll the go, wrong I'll answers. Go mark on, okay, yep. I'll just go make marks. There's a little star on the one that wins. The problem is someone's going to do their homework and find it. That's okay, though, because I think you have to dig a little to find this one because the article, I only saw it once, and the study has just came out. So you can you can try to find it. It's okay. Is it stretches? It is not stretches, and that's what I thought, too. I, I mean, stre stretches are good before bed. This is just... This is just a study that showed this type of exercise is better for improving sleep over another. Let's put it that way. Well, so it's sex, but that didn't win either. <laughs> it's somebody else. Oh, My questions are Chris getting is, harder. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for saying she's a loser with her with her guess. Oh my gosh, maybe we'll just have to go back to the fruit. I think we're going to have to get a smarter audience. <laughs> you guys were so smart last time. Okay, someone out there is going to get it. Somebody forget it. Or, you know, we hope. We have faith. We have faith in you guys. Matt just loves to give that ten percent off. And our other sponsor for the evening, of course, Chris Dano Family Dentistry. If you are looking, is it Tai Chi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is is it Tai Chi? Yeah. Is it? That's no. the oh, I thought you were saying, is that how we say it? I'm oh, like, no. yeah, that's how we what say about it. this one? No, Me. it's not Tai Chi. That's another good guess. Oh, I didn't is see meeting? that. One. Meeting? No, it, this is an actual. This is an actual exercise. Um, Reading you is what I do. Mean, but, turning pages does it? Yeah, yeah, reading puts me to sleep real fast. Reading puts me to sleep fast too. And so I, marijuana, like this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just don't listen to any of Rick's guesses. Walk it's to the bathroom. Out of him. I know. Oh my gosh! Now they're now we're really oh, getting. Yeah, that's a good answer. See now, there's my smart people right there. There, there they are. They're here. The yeah. smart ass answers are coming in. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Keep it friendly, guys. Oh, Keep it friendly. Oh, you can, You know what? Oh, so Betsy Johnson will be here tomorrow night, candidate for I governor. I can't wait. Yeah, she's. And she's you know what she asked me? I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, <clears throat> but who cares? Because this is get real with Rick Dancer. So she asked me on the phone. She calls me and she's got this. Betsy has this really great voice like this, you know. And she goes, "Hey, dancer." She always calls me dancer. Dancer. So can I cuss on your show? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I said, I said yes, and she goes, good, okay. 
now, now she'll do it. Once she found that out. Oh my gosh, she is so funny. I love it. I love that she's going to be on tomorrow. You guys will have to tune in. I think it'll be really fun. And then Kim will be back on Thursday to give you tips on what's going on this week. Thursday, we'll be over in Central Oregon. I'll be in Sun River. I don't know what we're highlighting there. Something something new there. So that'll find be something. <laughs> we're also going to have Trans World um, going to come on and talk about ways that you can sell your business or buy a business if you're bored with your life and you want something different. He's uh -huh. a great guy to sit down and talk with. Oh, God, now people, aerobics. Um, uh, see, okay, I'm, so it's not aerobics because it's the opposite. Oh, I'm just going to give this away now. Uh, is that anaerobic? So, yes and no. Okay, so it's, it's probably not praying. Not praying. So you're closer because you're getting exercise in there. So it's not, someone said burpees, and then we had another one, yoga, which was a good guess. Um, oh, yeah, on. you guys keep guessing. Keep throwing oh. it out there. Yeah, yeah yoga was a good guess. Not yoga, but that's, that I makes love sense. Nana Kathy, because that's my mom, Nana Kathy. Is that your mom, too? It's not my mom, but that is her nickname. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. And then tomorrow night, we've got Rosa Realty is going to be on featuring a business <clears throat> and giving stuff away. But don't tell Facebook I said that because they'll shut me down. Um, we don't want them to know. So she, he'll be here again with Betsy. Um, and then we also have Bucks is sponsoring that tomorrow night. Bucks, And I've got some great pictures of the bridesmaids outhouses. Oh, uh, you're you're serious. I thought you were no, just. They have really fancy pink ones and it says the bride. <laughs> oh, and that's awesome. Is it Pilates? No. Oh my gosh. You guys know these are all such good guesses. It's planking. No. Okay. But we're getting, I feel like we're in the general area now. Oh, so you can see this. David, David wasn't writing planking. He meant, <clears throat> meant to put spanking. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say this. It has, and you could, um, let's, let's, okay. Think, think resistance bands. I'm totally giving it away now. Resistance bands. That basically. Well, gave it this is too. so fun. Meditation. Not meditation, not meditation. That is also obviously a good thing to do before bed um, or when you wake up. Nope, this is, I kind of gave it away when I said bands, right. Rick, are you going to guess it? You can't guess it. I don't, I don't know. I just, this is my band movement. Okay, so what type of exercise do we use? Uh, the isometrics. To? Okay, so we'll go with that. Yeah, resistance training is supposed to be better before bed than, you know, doing burpees and higher so, so rocky if you answer enough rocky, rocky yeah you, you know what let's give yeah, it to who's rocky. walking to the bathroom and popping it hopefully pill. rocky can use and he um, meditation and he has isometric so rocky yeah. i'm glad that you participated um we will give your name in fact You're i got an right a for effort and yeah i'll go with yes yours. and creativity and we, yeah. we don't really give those kind of prizes uh, we just win <laughs> because you were right so it's Rocky Barrett. Yeah. All you have to do is call New Leaf, and I should have put their number on there, but I didn't. So you'll have to look it up. There's this thing called the internet. It's really easy. Just put New Leaf Hyperbarics Eugene, and you'll get the phone number. And Ask good job on all your guys' guesses. Those Rocky were. Says, yeah, you know it. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. I, he's like, I'm going to get this elliptical machine. Yeah. No, it's um, resistance training is supposedly better to do right before to, to improve your sleep. And I think it's supposed to keep you to sleep longer, according to this. Again, this is according to one study. I'm not the expert. So does, is resistance like picking up a big beer? It could be picking up. Yeah, there you go. Rick will find <laughs> any way to use that as an excuse. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Kimmy. I will see you on Thursday. Have fun in Sun River. I can't wait to see you there. Just I'll pop you the, the we'll, key and the link and we'll have you on. Okay. Find we'll have something, something fun from there. Mm -hmm. Find something fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you again. All right, you guys, again, tomorrow night, Bessie Johnson, a uh, candidate for governor. Uh, she left her position as a, a, a state senator so that she could run. Uh, she left the Democratic Party so she could run. And she's doing this because, as she told me one time, um, I – there, I, I don't want some people that are running for this job to get that job and because they could be very dangerous and not good. So uh, anyway, we'll talk to her, ask her things. You guys can come on and ask questions. She's happy to do that. And also Derek Roser from Roser Real Estate Group will be here to feature a local business. All right, we'll see you tomorrow night. If you want more information about Lloyd, go on there. You can find his website and uh, we'll post a story again later this week. All right, have a good night. See you later.